Welcome to News Today with WW News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now the news for March 6, 2020. At Disney's Hollywood Studios, cast members have been seen wiping down each Magic Band touchpoint and finger scan base uh, after each and every guest that would come through due to coronavirus concerns. Managers were overseeing that each cast member uh, was remembering to wipe down each station after each use. With confirmed cases of coronavirus in Florida and California, the Disney Parks Division has had to enact heightened sanitation measures across the parks, including increased availability of hand sanitizer stations through the Disneyland Resort and also at Walt Disney World. After three full days of temporary closures at the Magic Kingdom, the Haunted Mansion remains shuttered due to undisclosed reasons. Cast members at the location stated that it is unlikely to open today as well. Guests have stated there was an issue with the Doom Buggy ride vehicles on late Monday night, which eventually led to an evacuation and the subsequent closure. Guest relations cast members initially stated the closure would last a total of three days, but it seems that the repair is delayed. Ride maintenance crews are working on getting the ride back up and running as quickly as possible. The Haunted Mansion is listed uh, currently as temporarily closed on the My Disney Experience app. Guests with fast passes for the Haunted Mansion will likely receive a multiple experience fast pass uh, for the time the attraction remains closed. Dreamfinder and his lovely creation Figment are now available in Magic Band formed at DTEC on Demand locations. You can see the 1983 date noted on the Magic Band, which is a shout out to Dreamfinder's original run in Journey into Imagination, which lasted from 1983 to 1998. We discovered a new Orange Bird Magic Band design as well in the kiosks. The Orange Bird is seen bouncing off the walls of this Magic Band with its bright orange color uh, and retro looking stars dotted in the background. Epcot's International Flower and Garden Festival began on Wednesday, and we, of course, were there to review all of the new food and drink offerings at the various outdoor kitchens, at least the ones that opened. <laughs> Three weren't open on the first day. I don't know what they're doing, but uh, we love the tuna tataki bowl at the Citrus Blossom. We checked out the new menu at Hardin di Fiestas. Uh, we were confused by the chocolate pudding terranium, as always, at Trowel and Trellis, and we're unsurprisingly disappointed with the La uh, I'm going to butcher this La Regina Margarita flatbread at Primavera Kitchen. Oh man, the Italy booth, always so good. Check out our reviews for these booths and more at WDWNT.com. Spoiler alert, Italy's always bad. If you love eating at the 2020 Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival, you can reward your adventurous palate with the Garden Grays. Between now and June 1st, guests who purchase five items at select outdoor kitchens and collect a matching stamp in their festival passport will receive a complimentary prize redeemed at the Pineapple Promenade. The key to the garden graze is that the five items are all plant-based, making it a full graze or a garden of delicious options. The souvenir plastic cup is your reward for taking the culinary journey around Epcot and comes filled with Dole Whip. That's right. Oh, my God. A free Dole Whip. It features the Garden Grays logo, along with a variety of vegetables. The prize, again, redeemable at the Pineapple Promenade. You can check out uh, reviews of all the items in the Garden Grays on our site as well. Spike the Bee is back this year for Spike's Pollen Nation Exploration at the 2020 Festival. For $7.99, you can pick up a Pollen Nation Exploration map at specific merchandise locations around Epcot. The point of the scavenger hunt is to find Spike the Bee at each garden location on the map. There's a sticker page on the back of the map, and whether you choose to play along and find Spike the Bee in every location or not, you're still entitled to a prize. Simply bring back your map to that merchandise location. You'll be entitled to a surprise of one of these four flower and garden themed cups. The first of four cups is green with our uh, scavenger hunt leader Spike the Bee pestering Donald Duck. Next, you have the orange bird touting his new orange marmalade jam. The third cup is pink with Minnie riding her bike leisurely through the gardens. And lastly, Mickey prepping all of his new vegetables for the farmer's market. New seats have appeared in the Mission Space post-show area, the Advanced Training Lab. Located near Mission Space Race, two new uh, cushioned seating areas off and away to relax and recharge. You may recall that these used to be more kiosks for the Mission Space Race uh, game, but uh, they removed those a while ago. Each seating area has four charging ports around the base, and each port has two USB charging ports and one regular outlet. In the back of the lab, cushioned squares in the back have a table have tabletop cubes in between them uh, and with the same outlet offerings. Altogether, there are three table outlet offerings on each side of the area. Uh, this is great. A lot of people don't like to ride mission space, and they wait for their family, or this might be great for people just waiting for their uh, Space 220 table, maybe. Remy's Ratatouille Adventure and the France Pavilion expansion have been added to the Epcot map ahead of its opening this summer. 
In the section for the France Pavilion, the attraction description reads, quote, Join Remy as you scurry through a supersized world of Gusto's Restaurant. It's also listed as allowing guests to remain in wheelchairs or ECVs if they're using them, offering assistive listening, a handheld captioning, and audio description. In addition, Le Creperie de Paris has also been added to the dining listings for, listings for the pavilion. Since the maps all have the art promoting the Upcountry International Flower and Garden Festival, there is a chance that the attraction and expansion may open before the, before the festival even ends on June 1st. That could accommodate crowds coming to visit on the Memorial Day weekend, May 23rd to the 25th, considered the official, unofficial start of the summer season at Disney theme parks. This is all speculative at this time. Remember, Spaceship Earth also closes right after that weekend, so just make a lot of sense, but uh, stay tuned for an official date. With Space 220 Restaurant already looking to hire a general manager, it seems more details are being finalized for the upcoming restaurant, which is set to debut adjacent to Mission Space at Epcot. In an article posted by Total Food Service, the procurement team at Patina talked about the power of story with any restaurant concept, even when it comes to cutlery. The procurement team chose the Tilia pattern of rest for the restaurant's cutlery, which they thought would launch their new space-themed restaurant off the ground. Total Food Service, when talking about the upcoming restaurant, did mention a planned opening in April 2020. Hopefully this thing's finally going to open. It's been delayed enough at this point. If you have been one of the lucky ones to ride Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway this week, you have no doubt had a certain song stuck in your head. Nothing Can Stop Us Now from the attraction is now available for download on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play Music, and Amazon Music. Sadly, it's not really the whole thing. It's like a minute of it, and it's just basically from the pre-show, and the, the song cuts through the whole ride. So, um, you know, regardless of my feelings of the attraction, I love collecting theme park music. And uh, I would I would like to have more. Sell me sell me an album. Stop doing these individual song releases. Give me an album. And everyone keeps asking, give us Magic Happens. People want the Magic Happens and all these other parade soundtracks. Tokyo does it. They release these big CD box sets with like everything you could ever want. Um, the market is here for it too. Maybe not as strong as Japan, but definitely enough to make money. So, especially digital. What what money is there to lose in releasing it digitally at least? The seasonal primeval world attraction in Dinoland USA at Animal Kingdom will be open March 21st through the 23rd and the 28th and 29th to alleviate some of the wait time pressure on other areas of the park during the spring break season. The attraction will be open from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. on those particular dates. The light-up Mickey Mouse balloon ear headband that we learned about a few weeks ago has floated its way into Walt Disney World. The headband features two light-up red replica Mickey balloons that are encased in plastic domes that form the ears. The sides feature the phrase, best day ever, in blue, red, and yellow. Headband retails for $32.86. We found them at the World of Disney. They're really cute in person. I like these. There are two new mini lounge fly backpacks available, uh, one for our dog lovers and one for our cat lovers. For our dog lovers, we have the Tramp Gray mini backpack with small dog ears at the top of the bag. Famous Disney dogs dot the bag in the in Lady and the Tramp, Pluto, Lucky from 101 Dalmatians, Percy from Pocahontas, that's a rare one, and Max from The Little Mermaid. The interior of the bag features paw prints and bones across a black background. For the feline friends, all three Aristocats are on there. Uh, we also have the Cheshire Cat, Figaro, uh, Oliver from Oliver and Company. Kids look it up. Love that movie. The interior lining features some balls of yarn as well as fish bones. And if you want to pick up these new lounge fly bags, you get on over to Uptown Jewelers at the Magic Kingdom. They're also online. Uh, they're available for $75. At Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, a new cast of characters can be seen at Ohana if you look down. New carpeting features characters from Moana alongside Polynesian-inspired designs. You can see Maui, the heart of Tafiti, and Moana herself sailing off for her next adventure. There's a new food truck rolling into Disney Springs, Food Truck Park. Get ready for Hot Diggity Dogs, opening later this month with a menu full of, hot, of mouth-watering gourmet hot dogs and house-made chips. This new food truck is set to replace the Springs Street Tacos truck that closed in February. No official opening date has been announced, so stay tuned for details. Disney's most mischievous villains are crashing this year's Electroland, and they're bringing them uh, with them the wickedest vibes and baddest lineup of scary good DJs to date at Disneyland Paris from July 3rd through the 5th. On Friday, July 3rd, Sassy C with Ursula beckons you to dive deep and be bad for one night of wickedness headlined by Dimitri Vegas and Like Mike. Lost Frequencies, Brooks and, and uh, I'm gonna, I don't know who these people are. Brooks and Matten complete what is an irresistible lineup. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not big on the electric music, kids. Sorry. 
just just listen to the theme park parades on my iTunes. Feel the beat drop all the way to the underworld on Saturday, July 4th, during this night of frights hosted by Hades himself. Uh, Martin Solvig, Boris Way, and Siggy Smalls will warm up the decks before demigod DJ Martin Garrix takes the stage. Single day tickets are available now and are on sale through the official uh, Disneyland Paris website for the 2020 Electroland event. According to the booking website, tickets are 89 euros or 105.91 per night or 119 or 141.62 for a plus ticket, which includes access to both parks after 4 p.m. For more information on these stories and more, head on over to WDWNT.com. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. And also make sure to hit select all notifications so you never miss an episode of News Today with WW News Today. For the worldwide leader in Disney Parks news, this is Tom Corliss saying enjoy the rest of your today and have a great big beautiful tomorrow.